Go driving in well-to-do areas of England and you'll be met with a familiar sight. Profusely performative moral exhibitionist appeals to support Ukraine. How? Giant flags, some not even displaying the proper colours, signs in the window, ribbons on the front gates. Quite how this, in any way, materially, supports Ukraine is anyone's guess. Seems like the primary purpose is to make these privileged posh twats feel less self-conscious about their wealth guilt. And yet for much of the rest of the country, the clamour to support Ukraine is pushing them closer to poverty. Petrol and diesel prices, already climbing before the conflict started, have gone virtually parabolic since the sanctions on Russia. Four in ten Brits face entering fuel poverty later this year. Customers' debts are expected to rise 50% or £800 million. Come October, that's going to get horrific, truly horrific, said Scottish Power CEO Keith Anderson. It has got to a stage now where the size and scale of it is beyond what I can deal with, beyond what I think this industry can deal with. He says the company is being deluged by calls from panicked customers worried about how they're going to pay the bill. We're expecting a severe impact on customers' ability to pay, said Eon's UK chief executive. EDF Energy chief executive Simone Rossi says they've received a 40% spike in calls from customers alarmed at soaring prices. So yeah, it's very easy to display your support for Ukraine if you own three Range Rovers, an eight-bedroom manor house and a hundred acres of land an extra 20 quid here and there to fill up the tank, an extra 700 quid a year in heating costs, is barely even going to touch the sides. But to many others, it's the difference between being able to put food on the table, the price of which is also skyrocketing. So maybe before you feel the need to signal your virtue about supporting Ukraine, with your stupid flags and your little ribbons, to try and one-up your neighbours in your rich Cotswold enclave because their flag's bigger than yours, think just for a single second about the impact this is having on those who can't afford to support Ukraine. Because of our support for Ukraine, and because of the sanctions, they can barely afford to support their own families.